my dear children last two classes we discussed about what measurement isn't it measurement the is a unit for measurement measuring what time you know then mass then distance then temperature and you are also familiar with different units for measuring what distance also can you tell what are they millimeter centimeter meter kilometer so many other you know decimals are also there but uh, now it's enough for you to understand these are the main units that we usually follow next one you know the different uh, you know uh, rules that should be followed while writing the SI unit another important thing you know you should follow certain rules four rules are there that also you are familiar with next we are moving to the another important term what is that motion who can tell me what is meant by this motion? Yes, it's a movement. We all know motion is actually movement. Then what is movement? Tell me what is actually movement? Look at me. Am I moving now? I am at rest, isn't it? Then, now. Yes, I am in motion. Am I right? Yes. So, hope you know the difference. Yeah. So, uh, before one second I was there now I am here so what about me what has changed yes my position isn't it the place where I was standing that I stood there now I am standing here so the place changes with time isn't it one second before I was there but now I am here so that is actually the motion then tell me what is that what is motion? When an object, an object changes its position with time. What is motion? When an object changes its position with time, then we can call that as what motion. Then what is motion? Motion is what? When an object changes its position with time when an object changes its position with time then we can call it as what motion when i am an object now i am standing here but when my position changes you can you can say that teacher is in motion clear when my position changes when my position doesn't change, then you cannot say that I am in motion. Now look at this boat. Is the boat in motion? Yeah, absolutely right. This boat is at rest. When an object doesn't move, then we can call such as what? Rest. What is that? Rest. When an object doesn't move or the position of the object doesn't change at all, then we can say that object is at object is at rest when the position doesn't change so the position of the boat doesn't change so i can say that this boat is at rest clear the difference between rest and motion but at the position of the objects changes with time so as i told you one second before i was there now i am here so when the position changes with time, then we can say it's in motion. Understand please. So when we look around us, we could see so many objects in motion. You could see that birds are flying. They are in motion. Animals are in search of food. They are moving here and there. They are watering here and there. Then they are also in motion. And your parents are going out. Maybe for uh, you know the office or maybe for purchasing something, they are also in motion. Now we, we, you are in your home, you know you just move from bedroom to the to hall, from the hall to the kitchen to the toilet. So that is also motion because your position is changing. Now you are at rest, isn't it? Now you are sitting and watching the class. Now you are at what rest? Am I right? Yes. But if your position changes with time, then definitely you could say that you are in motion. Then if you have fan above your head, just vote. 
you could see if it is working definitely you can see that that is also in motion look at your watch if you have it now then see the needle of the you know that is also in motion not only that everything you know the earth we know our planet is earth earth itself is moving that you had studied it in your ss earth is revolution then what rotation can you tell me the difference between rotation and revolution what is actually rotation simply you know if i can rotate means what if i move like this then i am rotating isn't it i'm just on my own axis i'm simply rotating then what is revolution if i keep something here anything here if i move around that particular object you know for example this imagine uh, this is uh, the sun and this is the earth the earth is yeah slowly yeah revolving around the sun for revolution uh, another object is needed that is the earth is revolving around the sun then what about the rotation earth is moving in its own axis okay clear so that is rotation and another that is the difference between rotation and revolution okay that is not our point okay now we can come to our motion so what is actually motion is the changing of the position of the object with respect to time if the object doesn't changes its position we can call that object as object as rest so here now i am in motion then what about this boat boat is at rest clear about motion and rest yes now look at the boat you can see one figure look at the boat you can see one figure hope it is clear yes so when you look at this boat in that figure you could see three objects are in motion there how many objects three objects are in motion yes look and tell me what are those objects three objects in motion yes one is the car mm. next one birds third third leaves isn't it yes observe carefully then you will understand it so when it, when the, in this figure three objects are in motion they are the car birds and the leaves then once again observe this figure carefully and tell me whether these objects are moving in a similar manner just look at the car you know the movement is denoted in single single dots small small dots by looking at the dots you can say how this object is moving look at the car you could say that in the beginning it was not in the straight line this curling is there hope it is clear then you can move see that it is moving in the straight line clear then what about the birds yes they are flying in the straight line that uh, you know dots indicates that the birds are there flying in the straight line now just observe look at the leaves how does they move or how do they move yes are they moving in a straight line certainly not they are in random motion you know that leaves they are you had already seen about the leaf and you know that leaves are very thin isn't it so the wind plays a very important role you know that the leaf you know they are separated from the tree the wind can carry the leaf depending upon the power of the wind the movement of the leaf is also under control who is a controlling the movement of the leaf yes who is controlling it's a wind the wind is very powerful it can leaf can be carried to far away places sometimes you know this random that motion is known as what motion it is the random motion car is moving in the straight line straight line motion but here in the case of leaves they are moving in the random motion so just so you show you an example just observe this battery so when i drop this battery see how does it come down what is it straight isn't it just observe it once again just look at this battery okay 
Then just see, yeah. straight line movement only. Then what about this is a piece of paper? Hope it is clear. So I'm just dropping the paper. See, is it moving in a straight line? Just observe it once again. Yes, I'm dropping the yeah paper. See, yes, this it was they not here. It was there. So that is the random motion. Hope it is clear. This object it is very thin. So depending upon the power of the wind, definitely it can it can move in the random motion. So clear about the difference between random motion and the straight motion. It's clear. Yes. So from this we could understand that different types of motions are there. Some are in straight line, and now look at the fan. You know the way it moves. Circular motion, isn't it? When you observe the fan, the leaves of the fan, they move in the circular motion. So different types of motions are there around us. So in this chapter, you are going to study about five different types of motion. Don't you want to know what they are? Wait. First one, it is the translatory motion. First one, it is the translatory motion. Second one, it is the rotational motion. Third one, it is the periodic motion. Fourth one, it is the oscillatory motion. Last one, it is the vibratory motion. So, this is the main five types of motion that you are going to study in this chapter. Clear? Translatory, rotational, periodic, oscillatory and finally vibratory motion. In this class, we are going to discuss about first two motions. What are they? Translatory and rotational. Shall we move? Yes. So, first we can discuss about the translatory motion. Okay. This translatory motion, as I told you, when an object moves, how we can say that an object is moving with respect to the object at rest. So here, as I told you earlier, as you know very clearly, this blackboard is at rest. So when I move, then you can say that teacher is moving with respect to the board. Here, board is at rest. So when we go to the you know railway station, definitely you could see that the platform is at rest. Definitely, what happened? The passengers are moving and the trains are also in motion. So, with respect to the stationary object, if one so object is there, definitely we can understand that whether another object is moving or not. Here, now you can see that we both are at rest. Blackboard as well as me. Now, what happened? I am moving and this blackboard is at rest. So that is in this way we can understand, very clearly explain that an object is at what motion. So in the case of translatory motion, the whole object should move. If I stretch my hand, can you say that I am in motion? If I stretch my leg, can you say I am in motion? Then what should I do? Yes, definitely I should come front. Then you can say that teacher is in motion. Then next step now again I can confront. So in particular intervals of time my motion should be the similar manner. Next second arm up if I am moving again my whole body not my legs or my hands move. Whole body is in moving. Such a motion is known as what translatory. Whole body not only a single portion whole body should move at a particular time. If you are in the middle of the second, and the whole body at the moment is the second, that means my whole body is moving. Now look at the board, you can see the movement of the car there. 
whole body of the car is moving. We can't say the tire only moves, the body is there, or the front tire only moves, but the back tire is not moving. Can we observe the movement of the car like that? Can you? No. Then what do you normally see? Whole car is moving, isn't it? Yes. Such a motion, it is known as what? Transitory motion. Whole body, object, whole part of the object should move at a particular interval. Next minute, a second minute of a car at the position of the arena. And a whole body moves chamber in a particular interval of time. We can call that as what? Translatory motion. And this translatory motion is of two types. Depending, sometimes no, it can be in a straight line. Sometimes it can be in a curved manner. So in two different manners, we can say that, uh, that both are in which motion? Translatory motion, straight line. When we look at the car, definitely you can see that they are in straight line motion. If it's a curved path, definitely the car moves in a curved manner, isn't it? You can curvilinear motion, another term is also the curvilinear, but in your textbook, you are supposed to study circular motion only. Okay, so a translation motion can be divided into two. First one, it is the Rectilinear motion. Next one, it is the circular motion. First one is the rectilinear motion. Second one is the circular motion. Can you have any guess what is meant by this rectilinear motion? It is nothing, it's a straight line movement. Look at the car once again. You can see how the car is moving. It's a straight line. Not only that, you can look at another example. The athletes, you know, sprinters, those who are taking part in the athletics competition. They're known as the sprinters, runners, 100 meters, 50 meters. So, they run in a straight line, isn't it? I mean, right? Yes. When you are just, you know, uh, pointing a pistol and shooting, it's a straight or curved. Straight on, isn't it? I'm holding a gun and the gun has got bullets, so definitely straight line, isn't it? Rectilinear motion. That's rectilinear motion. You know the car or the bus traveling in a straight line, straight road. That is the example of rectilinear motion. You know the soldiers taking part in the march past. That is also an example of what? Rectilinear motion. Straight line. We couldn't say that the, you know, the soldiers do they mark like this? No, straight line, isn't it? This observe the movement of the ant. If you have, I hope you have seen it. How disciplined they are, isn't it? Straight. When we touch us, definitely it will be random. Unless we touch, when we observe it, no, so beautifully in a straight line only they are moving. So such a moment, it is known as what? Rectilinear motion or the straight line motion. Straight way only they are moving. So I mean examples, sprinters in a 100 meters. You know, I hope you have observed the, uh, you know, the athletic competition in the TV. Otherwise, no, uh, just uh, recall your sports day. I hope you had, some of you had participated in 50 meters, 100 meters race. That time, how did you run? Did you run like this? No, straight, you know, no. Track is there straight away only you are running. But in 200 meters, definitely if the track is not that much wide, they need to, yeah, take a curve and come back. That is different. But 50 meters and 100 meters, definitely the straight line only you are supposed to run. No curving, nothing is there. Such a motion, it is known as what? Rectilinear. What is rectilinear? Straight line motion. Clear? Yes, example you can write. Sprinters in a 100 meters race. Sprinters are, you know what are sprinters? Athletes taking part in the, you know, running 100 meters, 200 meters, etc. Then the car uh, traveling on a straight road, bus, train, on the railway track. Then, you know, passengers, the aeroplanes carrying the passengers. They all move in a straight line. They cannot, we can't say, you know, bike and all, you could see some, they are moving the, you know, the bike and all. Even though the road is straight, they have the tendency to move the, uh, you know, bike it's like that. Okay, I'm not talking about that. The movement of the object in a straight manner, straight road, a straight path. Such a motion is known as what? Rectilinear motion. Then what about this circular motion? 
For example, you can say now itself. Look at the fan. How does it move? In a circular path. Am I right? Yes. You see the leaf. You can see a circle. An object is there. A fixed point is there, isn't it? If you hadn't observed, just look at the fan now. You could see a central object is there, isn't it? And uh, look at the boat. Then what happened? Yeah, the leaf of the fan. They revolve around that particular object. That is a circular motion. You know, look at the watch. If you have it, or clock. See, you can see a small central portion is there. And the needles are surrounding or moving around that. If you hadn't observed, now just look at it. Middle one, you know, point is there, isn't it? Yes, then surrounded by what? You can see the needles, they are surrounding it. So that is an example of what? Circular motion. It's in a circle manner. Circular, that is the example. Two examples you can tell. What is that? First one is the moment of the yeah, fan. You know, middle, you know, an axis, a particular point is there and surrounding that only. The leaf cannot move. One leaf can the, you know, three leaves, three leaves or four leaves, whatever it may be. If one of the leaf, if you think that, no, I will not obey the central point. I would like to, you know, go to that side. And second leaf may say that I will go to this side. Is it possible? No. A central point is there and these three or four leaves, they are supposed to be there or attracted by this thing. So likewise only. Such a motion, it is known as what? Circular motion. A movement in a circle, circle. And you know, a middle, a point should be there. That is the motion is known as what? Circular motion. Clear? So, translatory motion, you know that whole object. What is translatory motion? The whole object should move in the cover a particular distance in a particular interval of time. Whole object, not only one part, whole object should cover a particular distance in a particular interval of time. Such a movement, we can call it as what? Translatory motion and translatory motion two types are there. One is the rectilinear motion. Second one is the circular motion. Rectilinear motion it is the straight line motion. What about circular motion? It moving around a particular point is there. Such a motion is known as what? Circular motion. Yes. Now we can move on to the second type of motion. That is the, tell me what it is. Yes, rotational motion. Rotational motion. Yes. So, what is meant by rotation? I already told you at the beginning of this class. Yes, rotating its own axis. A yes, central point is there, rotating its own axis. That is rotational motion. It is somewhat similar to circular motion. But different parts cover different, but the Say for example, 24, isn't it? Earth needs to rotate. Single rotation, how many hours Earth need? 24 hours. So we can't say that all part of moving at a particular time. Oro bagum axis and axis in the shape, moment is different diarium, but a central point is there. But 24 hours are bum ella bagum cover in the TD. When you observe the globe, you can look at the boat. Oro Pagatu covers here and different time on it. But in Kilum 24 hours complete chain, but definitely Ella Bagu in the Shayim Earth, Ella Bagatu Earth, complete access in a cover chain. At three years, a close iricum at the different iricum. Another example, top, you can look at the board, you know, pump it up. That's also when we just do like this, definitely you could see that. Palabagum, a subtle point is there, definitely. A subtle axis is there, and you could see that it is surrounded. You know, definitely uh, the other uh, whirling motion, you can see it. Clear that motion, it is known as what? Rotational motion. Rotation. It should be having a central axis. You know, Earth has got an imaginary axis. Is imaginary axis only. We can't say it's a normal. We all believe that, on, or the you know the uh, <coughs> scientists they believe that on uh, imaginary axis is there. And you know that this or no parts are moving away from that. You know America, India, all the countries they are attracted towards that particular point. That particular axis is uh, around the axis only. Different countries they rotate. Sometimes it takes different, different time, but in between 24 hours, it should be completed. Whole rotation should be completed within 
24 hours same in the case of what in the case of what top also it can also cover the distances within a particular time limit so these are the two types of motion that is a translatory and rotational motion now you can watch a video uh, explaining more about this with examples translatory motion and rotational motion so that uh, balance how many motions are there three so that we will discuss in the next class as i used to say every time my dear children please don't waste your time do your work properly study properly submit the work in time okay then please be safe at home take care until we meet in the next class is bye from me okay translatory bye. motion if a body moves as a whole such that every part of the body moves through the same distance in a given time then the body is in translatory motion for example a moving car or train a ball rolling on the ground a boy sliding down a slope and a stone hurled from a catapult are in translatory motion rectilinear motion when a body moves along a straight line it is called rectilinear motion for example a car moving along a straight road if a body travels in a straight line and covers equal distances in equal intervals of time the body is said to be in uniform motion a body is said to be in non uniform motion in a straight line if the distances covered by it in equal intervals of time are not equal curvy linear motion when a body moves along a curved line the motion is curvy linear when we walk along a curved track we are in curvy linear motion